Hello, welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the uh, Saving Your Disastrous Campaign um, installment. We're still playing the failed Psionic Rush. And I'm, I know I keep saying it that this is probably the last, um, the last mission. But you know what? I mean, we're going to do this one here. And I think from a research perspective, we're almost as far as to then um, do the final, final mission, which is the facility in South America. Uh, for now, we need to go on to operations, uh, Operation Forgotten Prone and save South Africa. Uh, we're going to bring our A-team with us, this time with armor upgrades. I like the new style of the medium armor. Looks a little bit less bulky, so to speak. Um, mixing it up with some bulky armor um, makes for a pretty good uh, mix here. So we're taking a lot of lieutenants, as you can see, in the hopes of getting one of these lieutenants finally to the sergeant, uh, to the captain rank. And um, I also want to uh, conquer Europe for the GTS upgrade, because um, training sergeants regularly is a huge, huge benefit for someone who uh, loses a lot of soldiers. Basically, you can just hire rookies over and over and over and yeah, begin training them in the GTS and you get your sergeants for free. Sergeants are okay with the right equipment. You can do endgame missions We're with only a sergeant down. team. I don't see any issue with that. So that will be probably nearby. one of the, the best yes, benefits that I could do with this game them. here, We're giving him to access to almost unlimited level area. soldiers. We're landing, and it is time to kick some ass. I would assume we're uh, seeing chrysalids for the first time. It's now uh, month number, I, I think, eight. So... It's more than likely that we're... that we're going to see chrysalids. Our people are doing what they can to fight back. But we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Well, that would be here. Roger that. Conveniently placed high ground, just right next to where we are. Right. So I would assume we're having pretty decent um, positions here. It's going on to multi Overwatch, and that should trigger, hopefully. Oh hell no! Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Well, I was hoping the units would at least move in, but they clearly aren't. Well, lots of berserks. Yep, lots and lots of persons. I can handle that. Okay, time for run and gun. I'm going. Let's trigger this Archon. Hell yeah. Just a little off. Well, I think I prefer a 75% chance to one shot this guy over 100% chance to deal some damage. Hostiles pacified. 
spy. On my way. Got a chance for an execution right here. Gosh, we're not hitting a single shot. That's unfortunate. I will tear you apart. We could stand in melee and just try to tank him, but I, I do have the, the feeling that he's going for the civilian instead. Anyways, we're trying our, uh, our best. Let's go with the tanking strategy. Oh, nice, Bladestorm. Oh, nice, Bladestorm. Well, she's a beast, that's for sure. These pelts, on the other hand, need our help very, very soon. Haven't triggered anything here. Deliberately moving on. Again, haven't triggered anything. Sniper moves on. We can take the other high ground here. By the way, look at the hit points, by the way, I've, um, I've given many of them either improved conditioning, uh, so superior conditioning as a PCS, or the new armor plus, um, yeah, sometimes since we didn't have enough, we, we actually don't have any ammunition, um, I've bought one nanoscale vest, but I guess what I'm saying is, you can see 12, 14, 16, 15, and even the sniper has 11 um, hit points. Seems doable. Location confirmed. Got it. Moving. Quickly. Good to go. Damn, shouldn't have reloaded. Scared. Unnecessary, we had free reloads. Overwatch. I don't think we're alone out here. Yeah, the enemy is now starting to move in. We have smashed it so far. And that's the first pack we're pulling. Yeah, come on, keep focusing him. It's almost down. Very nice. Moving up. Oh, 
Again, not a big surprise, we already knew that they were there. This here will shred these two mutants completely. Reducing their cover and making them very vulnerable. There we go. One of them immediately down. We're going to teamwork because I want another grenade, and we're probably going to use the Mimic Beacon this turn. Second grenade that I'd like to use is this here. Just going to drop one of the mutants dead, and shred the other one. for the Berserks, 100% for this Mutant. I think we're going to risk the Dead Eye. Again, I want to kill them instead of just injuring. such a good mood. Let's get the Mimic Beacon out. Oh, oh. Are you telling me they are ignoring the Mimic Beacon? The one and only infamous Mimic Beacon that no one's supposed to ignore. Okay, they are not completely ignoring him. Very nice. So we don't have another Mimic Beacon. I don't really want to move out of full cover here, so we're going to reload. Let's get rid, rid of uh, most of the house. Eh, we, we missed the Dixie toilet here. Well, 
Serial would be a really, really nice skill now. Come on, kill him. Nice one. That's how it's done. Could use some ammo over here. I'm coming for you. Let's Money. use the Dixie toilet to our advantage. Trigger free action. I mean, we could charge in like madmen, but I prefer to mildly deal six additional damage. Wouldn't kill them completely, but it's fine. All of these guys will charge in. We're going to do something either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid, which is charging in. My strike surges forth. Since we do have, um, since we do have Bladestorm here, all of these guys will at least take an attack. Um, I am assuming they go for the civilians and ignore us, so. I'm in parry mode. Can't take much more of this. Oh. There we go. Good job, buddy. Just maximizing damage at this point. So I think we're in an okay spot. The mutant um, to our left is pretty annoying. I think we can deal with him. This fire is out of control. Go heal him. There we go. Got a little flesh wound here, thanks to our increased hit points and so on. Nothing spectacular. I would like to get the loot. I'm not sure if we can be as greedy. I'd also like to get rid of um, rid of the cover there. Could even hit the Archon way better than this guy. Hit the point. Maybe we can suppress him. That's actually not too bad of an idea. So I want to maximize our focus. That's why I'm not going. Uh, was why I'm not amplifying him. 
There we go. Now we're finally at two focus. And she earned her promotion. That's very good. We're going to parry. What's our chance of hitting this guy? Nah, not even 50%. So, time for suppression. some serious damage now in melee plus we can parry at least a hit i'm not sure about the faceless um, i mean we clearly can't parry him and this flank here needs some serious help That's okay. One more hit and we can one-shot him. There we go. If he approaches us, we can blade storm him to death. Time for the sniper to finish the mutant. Almost 70%. Come on. Very nice. Okay. That was pretty important, to be honest. I'm ready. That's right. I'm ready. Reload and hit this guy. Very, very nice. Solid damage. Okay, we can still tank him. I strike for my people. There is the parry. And if he moves, he's dead. If he attacks, he's dead. He's pretty much always dead, I suppose. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. Oh, now you're helping them. Well, thank you, Resistance Team. That was super helpful, really. I appreciate your early and very prompt response to that threat. Dum -da -dum. So, the visions are getting substantially more easy. I'm pretty sure the original creator can play with that difficulty. I can really feel how the missions are decreasing in difficulty. This here is becoming very easy again. So, technically, he should be able to deal with that team. Let's just make sure everything's being set up so there can't be any excuses. <clears throat> and then we can go for the last mission. And that's what you've shown them, Commander. Well done. So definitely deflect. And I've seen... Um, I've never used channel uh, too often, but I've seen it... Uh, to a greater and greater extent being used in uh, the legacy missions. And I must say, it, the, they seem to have increased the drop rate. Uh, so in order to fuel her faster, 
this plus overcharge um, would generate really a lot of focus, which ultimately is needed for deflect and later reflect. Yeah, we got even a faceless corpse, that's nice. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. So, we are having a shit ton of lieutenants, but we are somewhat refusing to get our first captain. Which, by the way, was also one of the things that I wanted to leave him behind. A captain and a six-man uh, squad. Seven-day soldier, that's probably something which we should consider. Because it's going to be a fully upgraded high-level soldier. Yeah, let's go with the soldier for now. Because we can't make contact to Eastern, uh, uh, to Eastern Europe. At least not now. Proving rounds are halfway done. More than that, two thirds done. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Victory can be found through the most unorthodox of means. Uh, so unsuccessful attempt. That's good. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off. Like there we go. We got Lieutenant Conrad Brown. Another lieutenant, a uh, reaper this time, which is our sixth squad member. And we got an extra hit point. That's so really good. So, what else? We could recruit yet another uh, reaper. Ten days. We even get a promotion out of it, which may be something that we should consider because it's a secured promotion which will give us squad size 2 and another reaper so that's not too bad yeah I think we should do that so whom do we want to uh, promote out of the lieutenants I think we're going with uh, Emma Schwartz the Templar has proven herself to be super valuable and giving her she just has a prom she just had a promotion which means promoting her again uh, means she's currently uh, almost at the beginning of lieutenant so promoting her again would uh, definitely help add another soldier to uh, pro prevent an ambush by putting Pratel in here there's a chance that they are getting wounded but that's okay got the new soldier afterwards and the promotion is actually a very nice add-on. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. So we got a new lieutenant here. This time, Lieutenant Conrad Shadow Brown. Um, Conrad has Shredder, which is phenomenal, and squad size as a side, which is also very good. I would consider him no, uh... with only these two uh, uh, talents alone already quote unquote top tier um, he's Something definitely strong so we're going to go for remote start one of the strongest abilities uh, ever sure how he uh, then we're going to go we with um, shrapnel just to increase the explosion radius uh, radio um, this here is good target definition is very good uh, needle is also good for an additional two armor piercing Get no Shredder here. is definitely good. It would shred two um, due to our resistance order that we're currently having. Squad side unfortunately costs 25, so it's a bit pricey. Um, let's continue with Shredder because it's just such a good ability. Uh, continue with Silent Killer so we're not being uh, spotted out. And I would almost go for target definition but I'll leave the points in the pool. Um, I think that's a very, very uh, strong first skill here. In terms of weapon upgrade, 
I'm not even sure. I think we can upgrade the vector rifles. Hello, Commander. Yeah, 60 supplies. And a couple of alloys which we don't have. Shit. Yeah, we need to do that because we need, of course, the upgraded version. I've had a chance to take a closer look at some of the advent weapons recovered from the field. The alloy you Yeah, but look at that. One more day and, and we get cash. That's fine. Six hours to be precise. No, wait a second. Sixteen. The proving grounds are ready, Commander. We can build the skull. Okay, so if we look at proving grounds in our um, in our uh, projects, a lot of them will cost something. Sparks, which, by the way, just to put it uh, into context, I actually bought uh, the um, the Chen's last last gift just to have a com uh, compatible version with his safe games. So that's how much I like the viewers um, to make sure that that we could use it. Uh, Battlefield Medicine super good, we should probably go for it. We're missing Advent Trooper corpses, exosuits are, are heavy armor, so that's what we're going to build soon. Um, Shadow Keeper is something that we should build immediately as well. Hunter's X likewise, these two weapons I consider them essential. Skulljack not so necessary at the moment, um, and I mean since we currently can't do anything else, I would uh, like to start with experimental ammunition. And continue with an experimental grenade. Both of them should be okay for now. Does not cost anything, so that will help getting this core stock um, going. We're still missing supplies, so our main problem is the financial income. And look at that, Avatar Breakthrough and financial supplies, uh, as if the game would have known that we need it. Engineer is great, Intel is also great. That's a hidden a hidden event, maybe we're going for the hidden event in the Intel, if we can get the Intel. We almost need just one more, um, one more uh, contact to, to get Eastern Europe. Um, on the other hand, this year, 215 supplies is nothing, nothing to sneeze at, and uh, the breakthrough will be helpful. You know what, I think we're going to do this. Yeah, I will prepare it and I think we're going to go for this mission here. We're going to see each other in the next uh, mission, which is definitely the second last episode. After this mission, we're only going to invade uh, South America and then we are going to be done. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode.